Hey, and welcome to Board with Life News for January 27th. Today I'm going to talk about Soul, Sushi Go Party, several new releases coming out from Portal Games, as well as the Kickstarter for Dreamwell. Let's get to it. Hey, I'm Chris. Welcome to Board with Life News. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions about two things, mainly uh, when the, our show is premiering, which we say a lot in the news, but I suspect a lot of people don't watch the news, so I'm going to be repeating that for you, sorry, and when our Dungeons & Dragons podcast is returning. Um, I have exact dates on both of those. So our Dungeons & Dragons podcast will return tomorrow, which is Thursday the 28th, um, and we are finishing off our Ravenloft campaign, um, and we're joined by Isaac Vega of Plaid Hat Games, designer of Dead of Winter and Ashes. Uh, we'll finish that in, I don't know, three or four episodes or so, and then we'll be back to the Adventures in the New World custom campaign that we're running through. Um, as far as Board with Life, the series, that will premiere February 29th, Monday, uh, which is exciting that they made a whole extra day this year just to premiere Board with Life in February. Um, we're really excited about that. It is really good, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Okay, on to board game news. Ketchup Games has announced Soul. This is a team game for two teams where you are racing to find the treasure of the sun god or something like that. It fits two to eight players. It has uh, looks like a simple action point allowance system along with variable player powers. It looks very easy and uh, kind of light. It's got really gorgeous and colorful art. I was really a big fan of Sapiens that came out last year. That was Ketchup Games first release. Um, and it looks like they're continuing that trend of kind of like light and biting games that have really gorgeous artwork. It's kind of reminiscent of kind of how Yellow has been um, going as a company. This looks like kind of the same sort of ideas, really bright, colorful, good art, and light enough games that young people can play them. We got news of Sushi Go Party, and I think this is literally either the fourth or fifth week in a row that I've had Phil Walker Harding game news in this news segment. Um, Sushi Go Party is going to be an expanded version of Sushi Go, one of my favorite um, filler games and gateway games. This expanded version is going to fit up to eight players, which is really, really good. I like drafting games that ha can fit a lot of players because sometimes we have large play groups and because you have simultaneous choices, it really doesn't add that much time to the game to add more players, so that's cool. It's also going to add in an a la carte menu, um, which has you taking cards from a central display, so it seems like it's going to have slightly modified mechanics, more cards for more players. Um, I'm really excited about this because playing a 30-minute uh, kind of filler game in a larger game group with the whole group uh, is pretty cool. So looking forward to this one. Portal Games has announced their 2016 docket of games that they're going to be releasing. First up is a reprint of 51st State. It seems like they're doing a little bit more than just reprinting it. It's going to have revamped artwork and slight rebalancing stuff. It's going to include the base game along with the two expansions, and it's going to be called 51st State Master Set. They also announced Cry Havoc, which is a card-driven area control war game. It's going to see players inhabiting four different factions. This actually has uh, sculpted plastic minis, which I think this might be their first game with plastic minis, so clearly they're moving into that market a little bit. It's going to come with 54 minis. It looks really cool, really cool theme. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. And a game that I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be excited about, First Martians Adventures on the Red Planet. This is a sci-fi version of Robinson Caruso, the very popular cooperative game from a couple years back. Uh, along with, it says it's going to have an integrated app, which I have no idea what that it means or is going to be in the game. It's going to have the option to play successive games in a larger campaign. Uh, this looks pretty exciting because Robinson Crusoe is wonderful, and I'm sure a lot of people get excited about sci-fi themes. This week's Kickstarter is for Dreamwell from Action Phase Games. Uh, this sees players moving around a modular board trying to locate your dream friends. Uh, the thing that's really exciting about this is that they have artwork by Tara McPherson. This is the first game she's ever done artwork for. I used to be way more and still am a little bit into kind of like rock concert poster posters and urban vinyl like these figures here, and Tara McPherson has been a personality in that world basically since its inception um, and is a very, very, very popular artist there. You get to see a ton of her uh, art. It, the game really showcases her art and unique style and all that kind of stuff. It's really gorgeous. It is $29 right now on Kickstarter, so if that sounds interesting to you, go back that. All right, that's the news for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, just subscribe to us, follow us, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff, and go check out our podcast because it's actually pretty good. This week's question comes from at Aldo Heda via Twitter, and they ask, What games for more than six players other than Seven Wonders do you recommend? Uh, we actually play a ton of these in our group because our game group can get pretty big, and I actually, coincidentally, two of the games that I mentioned on this week's news fit eight. I don't know if they're good, but they will fit eight. 
Um, along with that, I think Bonanza is really, really good. It fits seven players. Um, that was Uwe Rosenberg's uh, kind of classic game from the 90s. It, I, I love it. It's a very gamey feel, but also fits seven players, which is great. Uh, Formula D fits, I think, ten players, and we're big fans of that. There can be a lot of downtime with larger players, but as long as you kind of like everybody in your group, it's not that big a deal, and uh, it's kind of a fun neck-and-neck -neck game. One Night Ultimate Werewolf fits a lot. That game's great. Spyfall, Code Names, Panic on Wall Street's a good one, uh, where you part of some of the players are like stockbrokers, and some of the players are trying to buy stocks, and you're yelling back and forth, selling stuff. It's crazy. Uh, I actually took place, uh, took part in a 18-player game of Mega Civilization over last weekend. So that's one that fits more than seven players. But uh, the game wound up taking about 19 hours and it was absolutely insane and uh, giant and crazy and a whole lot of fun. So if you're looking for something that fits a ton of players, maybe try Mega Civilization if you want to play one game for uh, an entire day. But probably stick to like Bonanza or Formula D, I bet that's more what you're looking for. All right, thanks so much for tuning in this week, and I will see you next week.